Like these days with everyone stuck at home, there are more jobs than ever to do around the house. Look, this is my list here. Yeah, I didn't put this list together. This has been done for me by the family. But I am an ow. I am an expert at putting off jobs. I have put off thousands of DOI jobs over the years, so you're in good hands. So let's go through this list now and I'll show you how I prioritize or, or bump down the list, the, the jobs that do not need doing around the house. Maybe you could leave in the comments which ones you'd prefer to see. The next DIY job on the list is fix the shelf in the front living room. Now this is, this is a tricky one because it's so easy. It's not tricky at all. I don't know why I'm putting this one off, but we had, we had building work and they knocked a hole through there, which has been repaired, but my shelves are, are not repaired. I'll keep this one at the top of my list because I think that could be quite an easy one to do and just, just get off the list. The next job down, on the other hand, put up blinds in the front living room. There is no way, there is no sweet way I'm going to do that today. I, well, for a start, I haven't got any blinds to put up. The curtains that I've DIY'd are sort of hanging in there, so that is definitely going down the list. Same with this one here, put up blackout blinds and curtains for my daughter. Hi Stella. Um, I, there, there are curtains here. I, I, need, I need to actually find the blinds first before I can even think about putting off that job. So that's, I'll move that one down. Oh, we've got one on the list that's outdoors. Washing line at side of the house. Yes, yeah, so that is to put up this washing line uh, here and to move it to somewhere over here so it's closer to the house. I'm going to get uh, some kind of base. How low can you go? and put the, the washing line in it. So, so that means I don't have to drill any holes in, in the floor here. So I think I've managed to kick that one into the long grass. The long grass, funnily enough, grown by me mowing the lawn. These tasks are just falling like flies and I hope your DIY list is benefiting from my skill and experience in this. Let's take a look at the next one on the list. Oh, by the way, this is the Dad Delivers vlog. It's where we try something new every day and today it's trying to put off as much or as many DIY tasks as possible. Next task on the list, new nets for trampoline. Yeah, this has seen better days. Those days were probably during the, uh, the great event of 2020 and 21. One. Uh, the kids are getting bigger and they seem to be uh, doing a bit more damage to the to the trampoline there. I don't have a net to fix it so I can move that one down the list. It's funny the list is almost arranged by order of places in the house. This is the next one. Garage roof, fix the leak. I've already started this so this is the leak. That, this is my son pouring water on the garage roof just to demonstrate how this works. This leak has been with us for about a year, a year and a half and I found a solution. I bought some stuff off Amazon and I've been painting the stuff onto the roof where the water goes hopefully to seal it. I'm going to do this in another video because I've already started this job and if I make a video on it then then I'll have to finish the job and that video the link to that is in the description when I finish the job but I think I can move this one down the list for the moment. <gasps> This is a big one. Clear out the garage and rearrange. Let me show oh, let me show you. This is not exactly an Emily Norris video, is it? Look at the state of our garage. Um, we had some building work, which is what created, ironically, some of the DIY tasks on my list. But we put everything into storage and storage just being the nearest room outside the house. My goodness, are we lucky to have this space, this wonderful space to hoard all of our misadventures in stuff and capitalist consumerism. All it needs is rearranging. This is too spicy a meatball to eat right now. I think we can definitely move this one down the list. Hang the Hoover recharger in the utility. This is stupid because this was my big idea. So the idea with this, oh by the way, we called our Dyson the Hoover just to annoy Dyson, the UK overpriced man. So the idea is that if I hang it on the wall here, it means that it's not stuck on the floor in a cupboard. And even better than that, I, I came up with this idea from in Ikea. I saw this chopping board. If I screw this to the wall, that would be quite a nice feature. And then I put the Dyson recharger onto that and that would look really nice. I've already like then doubled the workload. Instead of just putting up the charger, I've got to now 
put up some wood and then put the charger onto the wood but I still think that could be quite nice so I'm going to keep that quite near the top of the list and the other one's quite simple as well hanging rail in utility where's the hanging rail so we bought this on Amazon and the idea is it opens up and then the clothes will dry in here instead of having them in a bag or worse in the tumble dryer those two look quite promising. The next one on the list is back in the garage. I could do the first part of this job to mow the lawn. I made a video about this. It's on the channel, it's doing really well. But I think it's doing really well from people who actually like mowing their lawns. So I'm not gonna make this, whoa. I'm gonna save it for another video. I'm gonna do a, a mow with me. Because there are channels like the Yummy Brummy Mother of Three and uh, Emily Norris. They do uh, videos like Shop With Me. I'm gonna do a mow with me video and see how that goes. The, the next one on the list is, this is, this, is a, this is a doozy, is to put wooden panelling up in the corner here, which, which would look lovely if I knew how to do it. And if I knew what panels to have and where to get them and how to cut them. I suspect this might involve a lot of watching YouTube. That might take a while, so I think that's a long-term project, and long-term, as we know, goes down the list. Uh, this, is, right, this is a good one. This could be, I think I've overcomplicated it, but we need hooks for coats to go here. Um, oh, by the way, I made a video about how to make one of these, but I wanna put coat hooks up here, and my idea is to get, oh, hello, you okay? My idea is to get some MDF and put it yeah, up here. MDF. Yeah, MDF, the quality a substance of choice for DIYers, a panel of MDF and paint it the same color so that it's hidden and then put the coat hooks onto that. And that way the MDF will keep the wall warm because uh, at the moment it's, it's, it's cold. I get mold on here. Every time we hang coats up, we get mold underneath because the, the letterbox lets cold air in and it hits here. Oh, we're in the right place for the next one as well. Paint the front door. We've got a dog, we've got a dog now and the dog is very keen to get into the house. Probably more keen than we are, which is a lovely thing to see, but it has taken its damage on the door. So this is a painting job. I don't unfortunately have the paint to hand, so I'm gonna move that down the list. Upstairs for the next task, which is clear out airing cupboard and tidy. This is our airing cupboard and I, I like it being on the list, but that, that isn't a DIY job, surely. That, that should not even be on the list. And then the final one on the list is to oil the new wooden kitchen door. Now the problem I've got with this is I don't know whether or not to use oil or to use varnish. Because the last one we had was, was varnished and I think varnish would protect it, but the oil would be easier. You see my problem. One would be quite straightforward, but the other one would actually do the job. So, um, and I haven't got the varnish as well. So I think we'll bump that down, down the list. Shockingly, I ended up putting up not only the clothes dryer, look, look at that, work of arts, but also the Dyson rechargeable holder on the wall. <gasps> look at that. So thank you for giving me a thumbs up if you think I've avoided enough DIY tasks in a week. And right here is how I put up these two things. Can you please help my daddy get 1,000 subscribers? Just click on his face. Thanks, bye. How was that?